This video is going to demonstrate how to change out a keypad on a Hyosung ATM machine. So very first thing to do is open the top door, mine's already open, slide it open. And uh, in order to access this keypad, I want to make some room for myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this one screw on this side, uh, on the side of the bezel. Now you'll notice there's two screws here. I'm not going to touch the front one because that's what holds the bezel to the, uh, to the sliding plate, but the one on the back. So if I get that one open on this side and this one here open on this side, and clearly I've already loosened my screws for this video, you'll notice that I'm able to tilt this thing forward and I have a lot more accessibility to the keypad, uh, which is just held in by four screws, one, two, three, and four. Now, I want to show you uh, a couple of things while I'm on this side of the ATM machine. If you have a, a fat screwdriver and you feel like you can't access these screws, especially this one here on the far right, uh, then you may want to try to just get some room by moving this printer out of the way. And I have went ahead and loosened this one little printer screw over here and you'll notice that I'm able to then slide the printer back because the printer is just held onto the, the, the plate here with a little slot screw. There's two of them. There's one here and there's one underneath there. But basically I'm just lining it up and just moving the printer out of the way. And as you can see now, I have a lot more room to get into the screw, which, you know, is one of the four screws that I need to access. So one, two, three, four. The other thing I want to show you is, of course, to have this power shut off. Should have did that first, but anyway, um, there you go. Power's off. I want to show you the, the two bottom screws. It's easier, actually, to, in fact, have the bezel tilted forward and get down to the back here. And you'll notice that the screw down here, right over here, just unscrew it. There you go. And then one on the other side. Just unscrew that. There we go. And as you can see, it's all coming apart. Now, the other thing I want to do is, you see these two connectors here. They're just held in with little pinching uh, connectors. If I pinch that one little connector, this is a power connector, the, the connector will just come right out. So you just pinch it. And the same thing with the uh, data communication connector, you just pinch that little clip there and pull down and the connector will come right out. And now of course the last part of it is, is to get to that last screw. And I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew this one screw and I'm going to hold it because I don't want the thing to fall down now. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. And you can see the grounding cables are there so that's all fine. And there we got it. Now, your keypad may not come with the bracket. So if you're going to get just the keypad, you may want to just unscrew these four screws and put the bracket onto the new keypad. And then when you're putting it back together again, you want to, of course, uh, connecting those cables. Now we can see it a little bit better. Uh, you actually can't connect it in the wrong way. It won't let you even go in. So it's, it's, it's nicely engineered that way. So you can see just clicking that into place, pinching it out. Same thing with the other data communication connector. It can't go in the wrong way. So it's just right over there and just pinches into place. And the other thing I wanted to show you is these little switches here, uh, one and two. There is a procedure that you may end up having to reset the keypad, which is basically switching the switch number one in the on position and switching it back down again in its original position. So you, you, the reason I'm bringing this up is because on these 8,000 model keypads, you may have to get into a reset uh, mode uh, and procedure which is going to ask you to click this switch 
in the on position and then eventually put it back down in its original position. So I just want to bring that to your attention. But um, putting this thing back together again is, is obviously the exact opposite of what we just did. You put your cable connectors in. Go ahead and connect that in. Connect that in. You want to hold it into place nicely. Of course, the main thing is watch your fingers when you tilt this thing. You want to have it nice and flush, of course. You know, that's as you can see, it's and then just, just put it put it together again, obviously, with, with all the screws. And uh, I'm not going to bother doing that, but uh, basically uh, putting the grounding cables back together again and uh, making your way through. Don't forget to put your printer back together if you end up moving that. Well, you may not have to. And uh, that's uh, pretty straightforward. And that's basically how you change out a keypad and uh, install a new keypad. Thank you very much.